Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm with Amy and with Kimberly, uh, and we're taking some time to minister to people, people that are meaningful to me in my life, uh, and uh, that are a blessing uh, to to me as a person, and also to our channel as uh, Unity with Heaven. I want to jump in now and minister to Stephen Ali. Uh, so Stephen, the Lord showed me uh, your relationships, and then I saw how glue was poured out and it was like a heavenly anointed glue and it just bound the whole family together and it's as if the enemy tried to bring the vision and wanted to get everybody to go in all directions but the Lord is just bringing all together back uh, with a unified purpose loving each other glued together in unity and so I felt that the Lord is bringing a restoration in the family and then I felt with the fi finances that the uh, Lord said to me it's going to be established uh, I, I felt it was coming and going, it was was in place, then not in place, and it, it was not stable, but the Lord says it's now established. Amen, Stephen, the picture God showed me for you was how the Lord has called you to be a fisherman, and how you would get on your boats, and you would go fish, but if you fish, you would do it yourself, and you would get enough fish, but then all of a sudden your family starts growing and, and things starts growing in your life and I just feel the Lord says he's bringing people into your life where you're going to like work um, in a team and then all of a sudden it's like a it's like a uh, like a ship and then there's more people on this boat going with you to get the fish and even more and they're coming back and I and then all of a sudden more boats come and then all of a sudden it's a harbor and I just feel how the Lord says the vision that I have for you is a harbor and God is sending people and he's training you to be that leader and when you're not going to get fish by yourself for any longer god is really sending people god loves you Stephen. uh steven god bless you um so the next word is for cindy cindy the lord is showing me you in a cave uh, and i remember that story about elijah he was in a cave and that's also where he met with god in a still small voice uh, but i saw you were in a cave and as you were uh, speaking god's word uh, there was like this echo and the word of God was just echoing continuously back and forth, back and forth while you were in this cave. And I saw how your whole mindset changed and how you had an encounter with God, how you saw the Lord, how he spoke to you, how his word rested over your life and how you were completely renewed. You know, in the Bible, it talks there that we, our spirit is made new when we are born again. Uh, and one day we will receive a glorious body from the Lord. Uh, but our mind is continually be transformed. And I just saw how the Lord is doing a, a tremendous miracle for you in a way how you think. God bless you. Amen. Okay, Cindy, the Lord says, let that fragrance rise. Let it rest upon you. Before the high priest could go into the Holy of Holies, they prayed. They, they lit incense. And the Lord says, shows me how there is an atmosphere that you have. There is a fragrance that you control the fragrance of a, the home, especially the home. And the Lord says that let that fragrance of the Holy Spirit, of the love of the Lord, let it, be, let it fill your whole house and your heart and the Lord shows me how things will really start just to, to settle and to rest and become more peaceful. Be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Cindy, God bless you. Uh, so John McDonald, uh, so John, what the Lord showed me is just like you would uh, replace the filter in a car. Uh, there's a filter that the Lord is putting in you and uh, instead of oil, your whole life is running through it that filter and I, and I just felt a higher level of purity, a higher level of purpose uh, every everything that happens to you uh, is in line with your destiny and so I felt that the Lord says a lot of time that was wasted a lot of effort that didn't amount to anything uh, is now filtered out in your life and everything that happens uh, moves you forward uh, towards the purpose that he has for you uh, and, and uh, um, uh, there's more um, clarity in your life uh, uh, this precision that the Lord is bringing into your life, okay? Uh, and then the Lord gave me this word, acceleration. God bless you. Amen. John, the picture God showed me for you was how you came. God is calling you to enter into a time of worship. And every time when you worship, there's going to be revelation, ideas, creativity, solutions. And it's like every time you close your eyes and step into the presence of God, God is just going to show you so many images. And I just feel the Lord says, I've given you a calling of order and I've given you a calling to bring heaven to earth. So I just feel how the Lord is really revealing himself to you and really inspiring you. And there's so much, there's just 
expansion that is God is bringing in the way you think, the way you speak, the way you walk in your in your calling. There's just I just feel the Lord's acceleration and expansion. That's the blessing God is giving to you. But the key is worship. God loves you. God bless you, John. Hey, thank you very much, John. God bless you. So the next word is Brenda. So Brenda, I just saw you almost want to fall down so tired where you, where you uh, and it's just a lot of people that are depending on you and also children. And then I felt the Lord gave me this word, favor with children. Uh, then um, I'm giving you rest. Uh, I'm giving you a break. I'm giving you strength. And I felt when you receive your rest and your strength back, then you're going to see that old creativity that always used to flow out of your life. It's just going to be back and you're going to see the creativity of God flowing out of you. God bless you, Brenda. Amen, Brenda. The Lord says that, that through you I am releasing, I'm releasing beautiful blessings. The Lord says that I want you to hold on to me as the woman with the issue of blood. She, she leaned over. She knew that, that this was the only way, that Jesus was the only way. And she reached out to grab what the Lord says when you reach out do not just grab the hem but grab Jesus's hand let him guide you see yourself grabbing his hand like a little child and following and walking with him be blessed okay uh, uh, Brenda uh, God bless you okay so David uh, I saw a sword that God places in your hand but it's interesting you are holding the sword above your your head and I felt that the Lord says there is a promise that the Lord is speaking now over you and it's going to be a banner, it's going to be a covering, it's going to be over your head and it's going to uh, open up that gate for the blessing of God to be upon your life. And so I just felt that the Lord covers you and no longer will the enemy come and steal from you or calamity will come your way, uh, but the word of the Lord and the promises of God will cover you. God bless you. Amen. Um, David, you have a, an anointing to be seated of God in heavenly places. That is your calling and I just see every time when you sit down you just see yourself God I just I see it I'm one with you I'm seated in you in heavenly places and I just feel that's a promise God is giving to you and then David I just feel that there's such a um, powerful anointing over your life to really um, I saw a picture of how you came to the Lord and you were like God I have a desire to have dreams and to prophesy and then I saw how the Lord really started training it and it was like if I could describe it was like you were building cameras and you were like asking God to um, God teach me how to to see in the spirit teach me how to see your face Jesus and then I just saw how the more you started um, um, seeking his presence it was like you were building these, these these cameras to like capture those moments and then you can like bring that to earth I hope that makes sense and, and train other people how to have a face-to-face -face relationship with God so I just feel how the Lord says that when you spend time with me you're also going to make something amazing while you spend time with me and then that's going to grow God loves you God bless you Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, God bless you. All right, so Stephen Bamper, uh, uh, what the Lord gave me is that word family shepherd. Uh, and so I really felt that the Lord says now more than ever, you have responsibility to pastor uh, your children and even your wife and to speak into their lives uh, and to to. It's almost like I see dynamite in each one of your, your children, but you are that spark uh, that lights that flame and, and lights up that dynamite so it can explode and it can bring out all the giftings and the, and the talents and the goodness that God has placed in each one of us, uh, of your children. And so uh, I felt that the Lord says, uh, you've been really good at stability and consistency, uh, but now uh, the Lord is adding to that to activate uh, your children, to bring out the good in him. God bless you, Stephen. Okay, hey, Mr. Stephen, I hear the word saying, love correction. The Lord has placed leaders in your life to, to correct you. Uh, never stop being a disciple, wanting to learn, wanting to grow, wanting the Lord, because the Lord really shows me how he wants you you to start leading but but you cannot lead unless you are following the one who has made the path who has ordered the steps so the Lord says become a disciple not only of the leaders that I have placed upon you but also to him he is the teacher be blessed hey awesome Stephen uh, God bless you oh right, yeah Resta so Resta I saw a, a wonderful a dam, like the Val Dam inside of you. And it's just full of the life of God and fish uh, and the goodness of God. Uh, but you know, just like you know, this uh, dam, uh, Val Dam can sometimes be completely full. 
Yeah, but then uh, after a long winter uh, and no rain, it can almost go empty again. And I felt that the Lord says that the, the, the time of the, the dam in you that you have to all time replenish uh, so that you can be a river to bless everybody around you is, is ending. And then I saw how the, your river in your life don't connect with that dam inside of you, which is, uh, you know, you're a giver, uh, you're a good person, uh, you have a lot to give. But I see it's disconnecting from that part of you and it's connecting with the life of God that's in heaven. And now you start to flow out of the anointing of God. Now we always see these amazing ministers like uh, Catherine Kuhlman uh, and even some of that ministers like Kenneth Hagen. Those people, they, they were always in the spirit and they were always drawing from the spirit and out of the spirit the river flowed into their lives and out of them. And I felt that the Lord says this is a, a season in which you make that transition where it's not going to be out of you but it's going to be out of heaven mm. god bless you yeah that was powerful and here is the picture god showed me for you when i closed my eyes i saw a picture of you walking by the beach with jesus and it was like he, he put you in that place where you're walking and it's like peaceful and it was out of the noise and then and then all of a sudden and then when you got into that place of rest you saw all these seashells in front of you and then you started using them and creating different beautiful things and then i saw how you were making it um with your daughters and you were making beautiful um like seashell projects and it, and it did so well and it, it grew and i just feel how the lord says i'm calling you to create things in a place of my love and my peace and it's just going to be so powerful and it's going to touch so many influence so many people's lives i just feel the lord says i'm calling you to make beautiful things in a place of peace so go to that place of peace make those beautiful seashell projects god loves you god bless you hey Rista, god bless you uh, it's wonderful to minister to you guys. Okay, so the next person I want to minister to uh, is Lionel. Okay, Lionel, the Lord showed me a big apricot tree uh, and how it was spring season, so the whole apricot tree was just full of low blossoms uh, everywhere. Uh, but I felt the apricot tree was you and Florence together. And I felt that the Lord is just showing to me that as you guys love each other and you walk together uh, in love with one another, uh, then there's just fruitfulness that's just going to blossom uh, out of your lives. And also uh, with you in a business, I felt that the Lord says that you are going to not just expand the business, but you're also going to make what you are already doing a lot more productive and a lot more effective. And, and, I, and I see you like a mechanic that, that make all these small adjustments adjustments and then everything just gets more and more production uh, productive uh, and there's le less hassles uh, just, and and I, I feel the lord is giving you wisdom to do that god bless you Lionel. okay mr Lionel, the lord shows me how he gives you a shovel and he says i want you to start digging i want you to start digging up and and finding the well inside of your home that that well of the lord can continue to flow the lord really shows me how he wants you to be a catalyst of the river of god of of guidance and it's not i see how it's so um What's when it's like, it's so related, when it's so real, it's not airy-fairy, but it's, it's, it's practical, practical. The Lord says that he is giving you practical um, things to start implementing into the home, the whole home, to just let the Holy Spirit flow more. Be blessed. Hey, Lionel, God bless you. Uh, Emery, uh, the, I, I saw a sign, hunting season is open. Hey. Uh, and, and I felt that you were in a time where you couldn't hunt, you couldn't put yourself out there, you couldn't display your giftings, you couldn't uh, go and serve or make yourself available here and there, uh, you couldn't even hunt for a, a position or something that God wants you to do. And then I saw hunting season open and then uh, you were again uh, back uh, working, uh, busy using your giftings, uh, multiplying, uh, bringing in uh, finances. And so I just saw that shift that thing in your, in your life. God bless you, Emery. Amen. Um, Auntie Emery, the picture God showed me for you was these beautiful glass doors. And, and they were so stunning. But you know, it's glass. You'd imagine it would break, but it, it can't break. I just feel how the Lord says, I am opening up um, doors for you um, into my presence where you will really experience my love. And also, I just feel how the Lord has really made you made you like that. This beautiful, you know, these beautiful glass, glass in buildings um, in churches. And I just see how how you make these beautiful. Um, it's it's like the 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 what what you do. You make these beautiful glass doors, and, and I just I just feel like it really 
it, it, it doesn't break. And I just feel the Lord says that you are going to work in, in, in my supernatural love and in things in your life where people thought it was impossible. And like, it, it's, I just feel the Lord says it's going to be so strong. And I just feel the Lord is really giving you that beauty and strength. God loves you, Auntie Emery. God bless you. Okay, Emily, God bless you. Okay, so next word is for Maxine. Uh, so Maxine, uh, what I really felt, the Lord says, sow into your marriage. I felt you sowing seeds now and you're going to get for 50 years uh, uh, harvest uh, from the seeds that you sow now. And I saw you have a big basket with, full of seeds, all kinds of seeds. And uh, you were just sowing. And, uh, you know, usually we try to, in relationships, I put in the same amount that I get out and you put the same amount that you get out. But I just felt that the Lord says you're going to give a lot now and you're going to get a lot l uh, more later. And so just sow into your marriage. And then also spiritually, I, I just saw you growing uh, like, you know, when a baby has a growth spurt. I see how you have a growth spurt spiritually. Mm. God bless you. Miss Maxine, the Lord shows me how there's a lot of love for mm. you, how how people love you so much, how you are so sweet. And the Lord says, that is who I've created you to be. I've created you to be so, so sweet and loving, but but firm in your identity in the Lord. The Lord shows me how the, how he has built up in you a, a, I will not back down from this because this is where the Lord has placed me. I love, I love these and I love this, but this is where the Lord has, has placed me and I'm not moving because I want to obey him. And the Lord shows me how he is placing in you the fear of the Lord, the holy, holy fear of the Lord inside of you. Be blessed. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, um, uh, Maxine. All right. So Walter, uh, the Lord gave me two words, leader and crown. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm opening up places where you're going to be a leader and I'm opening up positions where you're going to wear the kingly crown that's upon your life. And so um, I, I really feel that the Lord says uh, you're going to um, manage people in business and in finances. God bless you. Amen. Walter, the picture God showed me for you was how the Lord was taking off an old jacket and giving you a new jacket. I just feel the Lord is giving you a new mantle, um, a new responsibility, a new chapter in your life. Obviously in that season you'd wear this, but in this season you'd wear this type of jacket. And I just feel that's what you're entering in. And then I saw it was very camouflaged. So I just feel the Lord is really, he's hiding you, but at the same time protecting you. But when, but I, at the same time, I feel like, in the right moments, God is also, you're going to shine so bright, um, really doing good works to point to the Lord and, and, and people will glorify God when, when you let your light shine, like just like that verse. And I just feel how the Lord is really calling you to be that light. But at the same time, I just feel God says, my hand of protection is over you and I'm with you. God loves you, Walter. All right. Uh, Walter, um, God bless you. All right. Many and I. So many and I, uh, I felt that the Lord said to me that your life should be full of action. It's like an action movie that's playing. And I felt that you have uh, pressed the pause button on all the action. Uh, just so that there can be a little bit of calmness and rest in your life. Uh, but I felt that the Lord says, I'm filling you up with my spirit. I'm putting your passion in you. I'm giving you clarity of vision and direction. And you're hitting that play button. And the action is starting up again. God bless you, Minya Naya. Minya I hear the Lord saying that I want you to anchor back into me, completely seated in the Lord, not just like a, like a tether or a, tr a, 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 ch a chain, knowing that he's there, but completely seated in him, that, that you know that everything is when we are seated in him. Everything is, is, is for His glory that we do, what we do with our hands, to, to glorify Him, to, to testify of His goodness. So the Lord says, come be seated in me and testify of my goodness. Be blessed. Family, it was wonderful for us to minister to you. Uh, uh, I want to encourage you, uh, write us a little comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.